Choosing the person to trust with one of your biggest monetary assets, your home, is a big decision. Be prepared by asking a few important questions to make sure that the agent is right for you and has the experience and skill set to get you to the closing table. Hi, I'm Kimberly Lahadney with Georgia Coast Homes here in Augusta, Georgia. And today we're talking about questions you should ask when you're hiring an agent. Number one, what's your experience? See what their background is and what skill set they're bringing to the table. While real estate experience is always crucial, having a professional background in other things can be a great way to round out their experience. Number two, do you have another full-time job? While I respect the side hustle, it's important that your real estate agent focus on you and your home. If they're only moonlighting as an agent, their focus is going to be limited and it can potentially affect their performance. In addition, there may be some times that they're unavailable to provide the service you hired them for because they're gonna be working another job. Hire a full-time dedicated real estate professional. Number three, if I list with you, will you be the person I deal with? Make sure the person you're speaking with is the person that you'll be working with. Some agents have additional staff that they pass their listings or buyers on once the contract gets signed. While having a support team is great and often an asset, hiring one person but never being able to communicate with that person is quite another situation. Number four, how will you market my home? Make sure that your listing agent doesn't plan to list your home and then just pray that someone brings a buyer. That's almost never enough. Ask about their marketing plan and make sure that it makes sense to you. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Number five, how are you going to market my property online? I hate to say it, but some agents are still sticking a sign in the ground, holding an open house and calling it a day. No thanks. Over 90% of buyers are looking online for homes at some point during their search. I mean, you know that, you did it. If your agent isn't utilizing a digital marketing plan along with social media, then you're losing out on a very large pool of buyers. Number six, will you hire a professional photographer? Do some online research. We all know that home with the agent in the mirror taking a picture of the bathroom with the toilet seat up, it's getting less views, which means less showings, which means it'll be on the market longer and potentially resulting in selling for a lower price. That's a pretty big downward spiral, don't you think? Make sure your agent hires a professional photographer so that your home stands out and looks its best. Number seven, how often will you communicate with me? Selling your home is stressful. You never should be left guessing what's happening with the sale of your home. Make sure your agent has systems in place to keep you up to date on what they are doing to get your home sold. Once your home is under contract, there are lots of details that have to be done and deadlines that have to be met. Your agent should be keeping you on track and communicating with you often. Number eight, what is your negotiation style? Real estate is a team sport. Everyone has to work together to get to the finish line. While your agent should always have your best interest in mind, it's important that they play well with others. Being bullheaded and hard to deal with can often lead to lost deals and lose you lots of money. On the other side of the coin, your agent should be able to stand their ground when it matters the most, that they're strong and they're confident. Number nine, how much should my house be listed at? Are you ready for the most shocking answer of all? You should not just list with an agent who brings you the highest number and call it a day. Wait, what? While a high number is so tempting, remember that buyers will only pay what the market says your home should be valued at. And most of the time, buyers won't pay anything higher than the appraised value of your home. What your home should be listed at should be based on multiple factors and your agent should have done the research and be able to show you why and how they came up with the numbers for your home. Be wary of an agent who brings high numbers and no data backing it up. You'll end up with your house on the market for far too long, resulting in actually selling lower than what it would have gone for if it was priced correctly to begin with. 
Number 10, why should I hire you? Bottom line is that no two agents are the same. Make sure that you are able to connect and build a rapport with that real estate agent that you're interviewing. Ask them what makes them different from all the other hundreds of thousands of agents in your town. If at the end of the day, you have doubts or you don't feel confident that they're the right agent for you, listen, it's okay. Your gut is right. It's okay to say no thanks and interview someone else. And here's some thoughts on hiring family or friends. Chances are you might already know someone who is a real estate agent in your own circle. The truth is just because their family or your friend doesn't mean you should hire them. Buying and selling a home is a huge financial and emotional event that is important and it's important that your agent be able to confidently help you navigate that transaction objectively. Need help finding a real estate professional in your area? I have a huge network of amazing agents all over the country I would love to share with you to help you find someone that's perfect for your needs. Reach out to me and I can provide you with a list of agents you can interview in your area.